Can you spot the vulnerability in this code snippet? If not, then don't worry because I am going to show you. We are looking at a Node.js application that starts a WebSocket server. Upon a connection, it will check for the session cookie and get the user belonging to that session. It will then get the user's notes and send those across to the client. Talking about the client, in this snippet, we see a script running in the client. It creates that WebSocket connection and does something when it gets a message. But there's this part here, which gets the name get parameter and sets the inner HTML of a DOM element to the value. And this is clearly an XSS. But what is the goal of this challenge? Well, the goal is to be able to get the notes for a victim user. And for that, we are going to use this XSS. How? Well, we're going to use some kind of CSRF, a client-side request forgery. However, we're actually going to use a CSWSH, a client-side WebSocket hijacking. This is practically the same as a CSRF, but then with WebSockets. So in our payloads, all we need to do is exploit the XSS using a broken image. And now in the on error, we can put some JavaScript. This JavaScript will open a WebSocket connection to the target and when it gets a message, it will then make a request to an attacker controlled domain with the message. This way the attacker can steal a victim's messages even though the attacker doesn't have access to the session cookie. And when we try that out, we see that it works and that we have solved this challenge. All of this can be prevented by using a CSRF token in order to connect with the WebSocket. Now, if you want to dig deeper into this topic, then I'll post some links for you in the replies. And if you want us to make more of these vulnerable code snippets, then be sure to like and follow. That's all, folks.